So this thing came with the N4100 chipset and it's already an older one. There are a lot of different ones out there that are way more powerful. But what can we do actually when it comes to connecting? Here we have finding from one of the first limitations. So this tab is for inputting for the power. Then output we're going to get ourselves the HDMI two USB port at the back, at the side a micro SD card that we can actually use for Bodocera and then of course we're having the headphone jack out, the power switch at the front one, no front USB port, so this thing is quite limited, we're only having two USB ports that we can actually use, so we need to use a hub, so that's one of the downsides to this thing. Okay, so I want to focus on Bodocera, and the reason why, because there are some kits out there that you can get, I mean, you can buy this very nice case, where you can maybe store your mini PC, but inside the case, it's completely like a kit. So this contains a hard drive, also called the power keypad. That isn't one of those different kind of versions you can basically buy, but also includes the controllers. Oh, I must say that I have been, let's say, bitching on these controllers forever because they are okay quality, but absolutely not the overall quality of an original PlayStation 2 controller. So take that into consideration. This is an okay quality, but I have seen way better ones out there. But this is more one of those kits you can just slap on a mini PC, configure it, and you're ready to go. But take consideration where these things claim they are like a plug and play solution, you always need to do tinkering with them. Do all I say the power of the mini PCs and not to forget also some of the things are completely like not configured at all so you need to have some knowledge about Batashira. Another solution what they're selling is one with or without a controller. I think one of those companies is Kinhank. It's the same situation where they're having two terabyte hard drive. I think they were even cheaper small ones, but two terabyte is basically the sweet spot when it comes to the storage capacity. Yeah, and if you're getting into, let's say the PlayStation 3 and stuff like that, and you have a more powerful device, then you're going to be having an issue because then we need an absolute more than two terabyte. They're selling it without a controller or with a controller. They are the buy top controller I'm pronouncing the name correctly. They are similar like a PlayStation 4 ish controller, very nice quality. And this kit is, in my opinion, still one of the favorite ones. But let's say you want to create yourself an own Botashera emulation beast. We can just do this by simply adding the Botashera on a USB stick and just plug it into a device. Another way is going to be with a micro SD card. Some of the devices do have even the option to add ourselves a micro SD card, so that's very convenient. Also, we have an NVMe or just an SSD that can implement in your device. And this is more of the question, what will it support? And that's one of the things you need to take consideration what you're actually buying. And one of the easy ways is just if you're having an option for a 2.5 inch drive slot you can just put in an extra ssd now making this video they are quite expensive you're going to get into the two terabytes but of course solid state is super fast for loading and it is very reliable next up and they are using a lot of these platter disc old school two terabytes they are dirty cheap to get and of course take consideration a 2.5 inch drive is always like more expensive if you're going to be beyond the two terabyte and actually this is one of those many ways that you can install bodocera and just actually implementing internal or external with your mini pc but okay so most of the guys who are basically making these drives yeah you can also do it yourself and what you can do is get yourself an enclosure and putting the platter disc in here if you don't have an internal let's say storage capacity but and again take consideration also get yourself a usb 3.0 for the best and the fastest speeds out there also with a platter disc you have the fastest speed disc of course it will let's say has differences in the price but also in the performance when you're getting a slower one so the support with Batasera and Mini PCs is so much more extended compared with, let's say, the Emi-Alec Gamebox Android things. So I'm just really curious what can we actually play, for example, with N64, because that's one of those systems that doesn't run great or most of these boxes. The question remains, what can we actually play? So that's what we're going to deep dive into, but I would not expect to have places to emulation, but we will do a quick overview of those systems too. In the end, let's take a close look. First of all, pressing start. In here we're going to get inside the system itself and that is what we're going to look at. One, I just wanted to do a quick overview of the information and the specifications. But let's take a close look at the menu itself. So first of all, this thing is running on 43 Celsius and I did hear the spinning of the fan itself and it was hitting the 63 back, let's say a couple of hours ago. But that is nothing like really something concerning. The GB01, that is what is called or model called. And next up, we're having the specifications. So this thing comes with the Intel Celeron and 4100 CPU that runs only in 1.1 gigahertz. It's a quad core. CPU max frequency is 2400 megahertz. So also comes with the UHD Graphics 600. 
like the previous models and the other ones I've checked out. So the specifications is not something very interesting, but let's take a close look at it. What can we actually use it for? But let's start off with some 16-bit era. And this is absolutely running perfectly on these boxes. And that's one thing you need to take in consideration. But if you're looking into the game box systems, there are so many different ways you can actually play. So you don't really need to buy and bought a Sierra Mini PC. Ray mentioned before, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of one couple of games. Another system I was really looking forward to check out is Panasonic 3DO, because there are some like really cool games on there, and on most game boxes it doesn't run at all. This is absolutely one of those cool systems that we couldn't play on the game boxes. I have tried many of them and all of them have the same freaking issue that doesn't have like a stable frame per second to enjoy some old school games like Return Fire. Why do I hear some crackling noise in... And it is quite unfortunate because with some other models we have tested out that are slightly more expensive we did have the overall performance that we needed. But still Beside the crackling noise, it's playable. Okay, so with the game boxes we have talked about before, we can actually play some okay overall performance when it comes to the Sega Dreamcast. But to my surprise, we can also play this on the game box or the cheaper game box, but not particularly like I'm surprised it actually runs, but we can even upscale it to higher resolutions in combination with the Flycast emulator. So that's absolutely amazing that we even have an, let's say, absolutely a positive thing going on over here. Even this, this very cheap mini PC has the option to upscale some older system that we couldn't do before when it comes to these older devices that we have reviewed like gazillion times here. Another system I just wanted to check out is Sega Saturn with even an upscaling to two times the original resolution. Yeah, take consideration if you're getting into Sega Saturn and we're going to be trying to squeeze out more out of it, it's going to be absolutely having a negative effect of the gameplay. So let's do a quick gameplay of some Daytona USA. Well, let's deep dive into some racing action just to check out how the overall performance is. And I can tell you that I was quite surprised even seeing this thing actually be playable on this chipset. So where we do have like game boxes now that can run Sega Saturn on the native resolution without any problem. And that's what I love about these mini PCs, that we can upscale it and it looks slightly better. And even if you're going to have different kind of games, think about two dimensional games, even you can upscale it a little bit further and squeeze more out of this tiny game PC. Another system that doesn't run great on these game boxes is N64. And I must say that N64 seems to be running just fine on this. It's a native resolution. Cruising the USA is one of those games that has always have problems with the power metals and emulator combination. And that is what I even love with these very cheap emulation machines. If you just want to enjoy some old school N64, you can just play them fairly easy in this particular way. Alright, so let's try some N64 with the Golden Eye, one of my favorite games. I really need to get used control, but I don't need the sniper, you have just a PP. PP7 is when in silencer from a distance you can just shoot the guys. But what is kind of cool that we can actually even play PlayStation 1 games upscaled to 720p. And that is one of the extra bonuses you're getting with this cheap mini PC compared to the game boxes. I did hear and see a lot of people were asking me about the situation. But also with PlayStation 1, every single box can actually play it, but upscaling was out of the question. And with this freaking mini PC, we have no problem whatsoever. So let's move on to PlayStation 2 with native resolution, but here we're finding basically the maximum when it comes to emulation power. So where we have some freaking awesome thing that we can upscale like Sega Dreamcast and PlayStation 1 with the PlayStation 2, you can just see this is absolutely not possible to play. Maybe it was a two dimensional games, but in general, the overall performance is not good enough when it comes to most of the games. So PlayStation 2 is a no go. PlayStation Portable with three times upscaled internal resolution. 
So where game boxes struggle all the freaking time with these things, with Android based boxes, emulic, you name it, this is just working great on 3x resolution. Of course, if you have more demanding games like the God of War games, maybe there we need to do some more tweaking. But this is kind of cool to see that we can actually play a lot of games on high resol internal resolutions on such a cheap game box. It's time for the teardown and I know a lot of you wanted to see what is inside of these devices. So I'm especially doing this for you. So, okay, the first thing that we need to do is very gently remove the rubber feet. And yeah, with this model, it is came with it. I did see some previous model I've bought. They didn't even like bother adding these things. Okay, so let's see. Now, another thing is quite interesting that it has been like opened up and especially configured. And when I'm seeing it configured, when you're looking at these mini boxes, you can buy them on AliExpress, for example, and there we can have different configurations, sometimes with different kinds of RAMs or let's say storage capacity and stuff like that. Okay, the only thing that we actually need to do with these things is just removing the four screws. When I've done this, most of the time we can just slide it open and there we go. Okay, the power already on and off switch. Oh man, it dropped out. But let's see. So what we can actually do, we can just remove the internal, let's say, storage if you want to. And we can reflash this with some butter syrup if needed, if you just want to use this thing like in game books only. So beside that, it's a quite interesting concept and the way how everything, how it's been made. But the thing is, you cannot really upgrade RAM and stuff like that so far I can see. It's very limited when it comes to upgrades. That's the same configuration with ribbon cables connected to PCB boards. But it's actually what we're going to be finding in the inside. So let's get this thing back together. And let's it go.